Well, hello everyone and welcome to Story Chasing. My name is Amber and I travel with my little dog, Lily, and we travel around in this converted Ram Promaster van all around North America. There are a lot of you who are new to my channel and have been asking me a ton of questions about my van and how I'm living in my van. And so I wanted to give a quick little van tour. So for you guys who've been on my channel for a very long time, thank you so much for being here. And you're gonna get something out of this too because I'm gonna show you how I also live in the van, organize the van and what's in my cupboards. All right guys, let's get started. Now, I'm gonna tell you that some of this may look a little cluttered to you. Okay, I live in a van. Things are gonna be cluttered. I try not to let it be, but I run a business out of this van too. So I not only have my personal stuff, but I also have my business stuff in here. And so you may not have all of these things. So just keep that in mind as you're watching. All right, I just wanna give you a quick shot of what the whole van looks like before we get started. We've got the kitchen here. We've got the bedroom in the back, bathroom there to the right. Then we have our living area and desk. We also have the front cabin area and we've got Lily right there. Hi girl. This is not a DIY. This is actually manufactured by Heimer, which is no longer in existence here in North America currently, but it is on the Ram Promaster 2500 chassis, which is about 20 feet long. So here's the bathroom. We have a fantastic fan up here. I've done some modifications to it. So one of the modifications that I did was I took the door off because it's just me and it actually was covering this wall and I could use this wall for some storage. And then I hung this little basket up here that I keep makeup and stuff in and put some hooks on it so that I could hang more things on it. So remember, the van is all about maximizing space. If you can have dual uses for things, then that's even better. So up here in this cabinet, I keep all of my toiletries from face wash to cleansers, hair supplies over here. Up here, we have a mirror that they installed. I also use this very minimalist towel. Here is my female urination device that I use when I'm outdoors. Then going over here, we've got a toothbrush holder that I installed. I also put this little cup holder here for brushes for a toothpaste. This is Lily's toothpaste. This is interesting too, is I love this stuff. It's called True Earth. And this is stuff to wash your clothes. There's these little sheets that look like this and you just tear them apart and put them in the wash. And then I actually took out the sink as well because it was this fold down sink and didn't have a lot of use for it because I use my kitchen sink mostly for washing up instead storage stuff here. So I have lotions and cleansers. I also have my hair ties that I just put on here. Again, maximizing space. Over here, I have my shower bag that I take with me when I go shower or if I'm showering here, but it's all here so I can just grab it and go. And here I just have extra storage items. So I have like my curling iron and a hair dryer in here and just little extra things. Then down on the floor, I typically put my cleaning products. So I've got cleaning products there also over here. I have a scale over here because I'm trying to lose weight. A minimalist trash can. I use this for bathroom and for kitchen. And then over here, I just have other cleaning supplies. The other thing that I installed is, this is actually a shoe rack, <laughs> but I use Huggies wipes to clean, not only when you're going to the bathroom, but also when you're cleaning your body off. You might be also wondering, why is there no shower in here? Well, this faucet right here was designated as a shower head and it's not up high so that you can drain the water over your body. And it just wasn't really conducive to taking a shower in there. It's tiny, the water tank doesn't hold that much hot water when you heat the water up. So I just don't use it. So next to the bedroom, you might be able to see that the bed is actually kind of high up compared to where the floor is at and I cannot get up by myself. So, I use a step stool that I just tuck right under here in the sheets and then put it right down here. This bed actually has the same mattress that came with it. It's a tri-fold mattress. That's a Murphy bed that actually comes up from right here. And then once you have it in the up position, you will actually hook it into place right here. I rarely put this Murphy bed up 
unless I'm going to actually do some maintenance on the van because it's kind of a pain in the butt to put up. And I just like to keep it down. It makes it nice so that I can climb up here, use the bed to not only sleep in, but I kind of use it as a couch too so I can watch movies. And I'll show you how I do that in just a second. This shelf that you see right here I actually had built with a friend so I could store clothes. And then I was able to free up a few of these cabinets. So this one I put hats, which I also love hats. I have books and just little odds and ends that I stick inside there. Moving along to this cabinet, I have in here more clothes. So I have shirts, I have pants. Of course, I have all my clothes up here. I have this clippable fan that I clip onto the shelf over here. And I also have another one of those right here as well that I just clip onto the wall. I'm gonna interject here really quick and let you know, if you didn't already know, that I have created a Nomad Mentorship Bootcamp that helps you transition from a traditional sticks and bricks lifestyle to a nomadic lifestyle. So that by the time you're done with the course, you will have a complete systematic action plan in place so you can start achieving your dreams. And the cool thing is that we have this amazing community of nomads in there and we do a live video call where you can hop on with me and all of the other wannabe nomads and get your questions and concerns answered. And we get to connect on a real personal level about what's going on with you and your needs in order to move into this lifestyle. So maybe you're on the fence about this lifestyle and you're not sure. Taking this class will help you understand that or maybe you're just ready to dive right in but not sure how to do it, then make sure you click the link in the description box below so that you can find out more about this class and see if it's a right fit for you. All right guys, back to the video. Then back here in this cabinet, I put these little storage organizers in here so I can put things like my socks, I have underwear in there, Lily's toys, and other little odds and ends yoga pants. And then in this cabinet, I have my night rest, which is what I take sometimes to sleep at night, a few other books. I have bras, swimwear. I also have my string lights, which I really love. I use those a lot to read at night. Also, I just wanted to point out that I have these little comforters on the bed. I have two of them. They're these rumple blankets and it's got this great fill inside of it that keeps you really warm, but it's a minimalist blanket. So I have two of those on the bed. A lot of times I put one over Lily in that front seat, or if I go outside and it's a little chilly, I can clip it around my shoulders so I stay nice and warm and I don't have to hold it. So over here we have another hat that I keep hooked onto the wall. And then we have some more storage over here, which is more like my kind of nightstand, I guess. You gotta have a back scratcher. My Kindle. I also have a flashlight that I keep over here. It also acts as a safety device to whack someone over the head if they decide to enter my van. <laughs> Next, I have this little organizer right here. And what's cool about this is it's a little bit full right now. It fits in between the mattress and the wall. So you just push it down. And then I have like lip balm, my lavender spray, which helps me go to sleep at night, aspirin, dental floss, my earrings and jewelry, Lily's clippers, oh, and my fantastic fan remote. So now I need to show you how I watch TV in here. So right over here, I store my iPad between the wall and the mattress. And then I charge it with this cord that runs all the way back over here. And I installed a USB right here. What I do is I open this cabinet. I put my iPad right here in between the books and this little arm and it stays right there. And then I just lay back here on the bed. I can watch a movie. Super easy. So next we have the kitchen and you're gonna be probably a little bit surprised how much I can actually get in here because I have it pretty well organized. But one of the keys is making sure that you have things that can collapse into each other or sit on top of each other and that will maximize your space. This did not actually come with the unit. I actually attached this myself. So I keep all my fruits and vegetables up here, bread, Lily's treats, and then I hung this hook over here and hung my cutting board. I also put Put another hook up here. Command strips are your friend. I hang my strainer here. I put this tie around my paper towels so that I can just secure it, which I'm not doing such a great job with one hand. But anyways, you get the point. When I travel, that goes around it so these don't all come unraveled, which they do. 
if you don't secure them properly. I also added this because there was not a paper towel holder in the RV. Up here, we've got all of my spices. Up here, this had a microwave that came with it, but I didn't really like the microwave, so I got a toaster oven. And I also keep a small cutting board here and vitamins. This has a propane stove that I cook on quite frequently. Um, also a small sink with this adjustable faucet I can pull out, which by the way, I also use to fill up my Berkey water filter with. So it's nice that it fits all the way over there. I also have this little USB light that you can plug in and charge, but I like to use this so that when I go outside at night or if I want to use it for here for reading so I don't have to turn on all of the LED lights inside here, I can use that. I have hooks up here for my keys. Lily's collar, just a vibration collar. Have my Bose speaker for music, which typically gets stored during travel days right down in there. The refrigerator is pretty small, but I've done some modifications to it to help it out a little bit. It did not come with these trays right here, but I installed these trays myself. So it's nice because you can pull all the trays out and load it up and put it in the refrigerator. I have these two little shelves here that you can put things on on the door and there's a small little freezer here as well. Next are the drawers here that has all of my utensils. I added these little clear plastic trays so I have items down here and they're stacking. They fit right into each other and they stay still whenever you drive. I've got all of my utensils as well over here, little pot holders, measuring cups. This is also double stacked, so you have items in here as well. Those are things that I don't use very often, but I still like to have them. Next, I have things like medicine, Gorilla Glue, I mean, you always need some Gorilla Glue around. Essential oils, bug spray for Lily and I. Another tray that has meat thermometer, scissors. These are my hair scissors to cut my own hair. I use this quite often. It's my little thing that I heat water up with. I have all my coffee supplies here. So my frother, my actual ground coffee. I love this coffee. It's the Bustillo, is that how you pronounce it? Bustillo, it's Cuban. My espresso pot, salt and pepper, apple cider vinegar that I put in my water every day. And the next drawer, I have, this is kind of like my junk drawer right here. Things that I need to get to quickly. So tools, Lily's brush, pens, measuring tape. So this is a Vitamix blender. I don't use this a lot, but I still like to keep it. And I'll show you what I use instead. Different canned foods. This is my protein powder. This stuff is amazing to go to bed at night. Four Sigmatic Mushroom Cacao Mix, monk fruit sugar, more teas, empty jar that I use for mixing dressings, my lovely, I love this, red coffee cup, oil, and one other little mug down there in case I have a visitor. One thing that I don't do is I don't keep like a ton of extra dishes or cups around because I used to have like two, three, four of everything, but it's just me in the van. And if there's someone who's visiting, I might have like one extra cup just in case. But other than that, I barely even keep two of everything now. I just wash stuff when I need it. Otherwise, if I'm camping with people, they can bring their own cup and bowl and plate or whatever. So that's generally how I handle it. The next drawer has bowls and a pot. This all stacks into each other. So I use this pot like a soup pot or for popping popcorn. And I just put like a bag and a towel in there so that when I put this bowl in it, it's not gonna get damaged. I put the lid to the pot right here with this little felt thing, whatever that's called. And then I put this bowl here, which I use all the time. I use this bowl as a plate and a bowl to eat on every single day. This is where all my grains and beans and stuff live, rice. So I just have this little container that kind of holds all of it inside of here. And then I have one little dish that's in here that I use for the oven. And if you haven't seen my video about all my healthy cooking in the van and how I'm losing weight on Noom, then click this link right up here. It'll show you 
everything that I cook in the van. And you might be surprised again, I do a lot of cooking in here and it's good, healthy foods. Then over here, I have my Berkey water filter, which I absolutely love. And I highly suggest it for anybody who's gonna be doing this full time because it will actually filter river water or if your tank is dirty and you haven't cleaned it yet, but you still need drinking water, it'll filter all of that out for you so you won't have any issues or feel like you're contaminating your drinking water. And it's the same filters that I've had for four years almost now. They last a really long time. So that is a Berkey water filter. And by the way, if you're seeing anything in this video that you like or you want to know more information about click the link in the description box where it says my amazon store and that has all of the gear and everything that i use inside of there so you can check it out underneath the filter we've got this little compartment here with a roll-up door it had shelves in it before but i took those out and installed this little sliding shelf that comes out. Here's my Vitamix blender that I use to do my smoothies. And then this is called a personal blender and it came with this. Put all your ingredients inside here. You put the blade on it this way, flip it onto the blender like this and it blends all nice and easy. So I don't have to use that big one most of the time. In here I store stuff like my soy sauce, bigger kind of jar items that don't fit in the drawer. So oils, vinegars, my nori strips, I have rice noodles, more oils, and then it just slides back in easily. And in here, this is where I keep kind of an overflow of items that I don't get to all the time. So I buy my monk fruit sugar in bulk, so I put it up here. I have camera equipment, I have soy milk, just things that I keep extra of. Trash bags, I actually installed these myself and I got these on Amazon as well, which you can find in the Amazon store. So next we have the living area bench seat and where I like to work on this table and I also eat. So lots of dual purposes here again. This bench seat that I don't really use all that much to be honest with you because it's not that comfortable. I mainly use my chair. This is my driver chair that I flip around and sit here and work. So you can see I have my computer here. Up here I have lots of camera equipment and office supplies. External hard drives that I keep everything on. These are the Lacey drives. I have extra microphones and lights. I have lenses, more GoPro accessories, Yeti microphone where I do voiceovers, my headphones. This here is my external freezer, which I absolutely love. I use it for, well, more food. So chicken. I have these smoothie packet so I make them ahead of time so I've got fruit and my greens in here and I can just throw it right into the blender with my protein powder and be done with it. Here's the kitchen counter and if you slide down here we've got of course our lights and some more AC outlets where I charge batteries. I installed these shoe racks right here just recently actually and I love it because I can put all my shoes that I use most of the time here so I've got my hiking shoes, my walking shoes, my taco sandals, and then my regular taco sandals there. Here I keep my Garmin. This is what I use to hike with and check in with my family. I had this Roloff screen installed, which is nice because it's magnetic right here. It just pops back, so I have a nice screen to keep bugs and stuff out of here. Up here, I utilize the headrest for my scarves, Lily's leash, an extra bag when I wanna go to the beach or if I'm going to the gym to take a shower, I can throw everything inside of there. I put these mats down here, which are these just kind of rubber mats. What I like about them is you can take them to the car wash and put them up on the wall and clean them off really nicely. Anything that's actual material in here just doesn't work very well because it gets dirty too quickly. This is Lily's seat. This is the passenger seat. She also has her own seat belt as well. These little seat belts I just got from Amazon and it clips right into your regular seat belt here. And I clip her in to her harness when we're driving so she doesn't get hurt. These shades that cover up the windows are from Van Made Gear. And I love these because they really block the light as you can see and they fold down so you can let light in. Got them for both sides and then of course the front. These are for the back window so right now it's just not cold enough really that I need them so I keep them up here on the dash while I'm stationary. This is the area that gets really messy while you're just sitting still so I'm gonna show you. 
This is the trash that came from the trash can in the bathroom. So I put it in a big trash bag and then put it in the front or sometimes I put it right up there on the dash, but I don't want to keep that outside. Up here, I keep my little Dyson vacuum cleaner, Lily stuff. So I have her harness, gloves, yoga block. That little tire minder right there is my gauge to see how much air pressure I have. So I keep all of that stuff up here, things that I need to get to easily. This overhead bin from the driver and passenger seat is where I keep stuff I need to get to quickly as well, like my sunglasses, headlamp, National Geographic, Scenic Highways and Byways book that I use quite often. Then if we slide up even further, we have this storage area. I have more camera equipment, more office supplies, my yoga mat, and also my hats and winter coat and stuff live right in there because you can just shove them back. So the next thing that we have is all the storage and things that lives underneath the bed and it can be a holy mess sometimes. It's like a love-hate relationship with that storage space down there but I'm going to show you what it looks like. Right now I have my laundry bag. This is where I keep my three quart instant pot. And then I've got this box right here is all of my tools, Huggies wipes that I ordered in bulk. That's my little stovetop oven that lives right there. And this drawer, I have a printer right here. I have my supplies to send stickers out and envelopes and more office supplies. So right through here, I have a suitcase that I just keep handy in case I'm gonna fly somewhere. So coming around to the back side of the van, I've got these big, huge doors that open up. If you're wondering what this is, it's Reflectix. I usually put it right here where the doors meet so that dirt and stuff doesn't fly in when I drive because it does for some reason. So over here we have Lily's trailer that I use for the bike. I also have my surge protector for my electrical. <sighs> this really is organized. It doesn't seem like it, but it is. It's just a lot of stuff. I have safety cones here. I have a tripod chair. This is my toolbox that I was talking about before that was on the other side. So I keep all my tools inside here, like my air compressor, a DeWalt drill, bungee cords. And here I've got more command hooks, exercise equipment and bands. And then in here I have things like fix a flat and gloves, WD-40. There's my electrical cord. I've got my water hose as well that I keep back here nice and handy so that I can grab it quickly. So this is the underside of the mattress. So you can see there's the bed. And then under here, I keep max tracks. So if I get stuck, I can grab these max tracks quickly and get myself unstuck. On the back here, I've installed this Rocky Mounts swing away arm for my bike. So I have an electric bike that sits on that so it's nice and easy to swing away. So the bags are inside of the van. This is what was in them. So I have a foldable collapsible table here. It's nice, I like to eat on this. And then also my swinging chair, which is really quite amazing. I love this chair. Yeah, it's like a little hammock chair. And then I also have my outdoor mats. These are sand free mat so literally you don't really get much sand on them like you do normal mats it just goes right through them so I have an additional one out here as well all right that is it for this quick little van tour I hope you enjoyed it but I bet you're left with some more questions about the van how I organize things leave me a comment below in the comment section and I'll get to those questions as quickly as possible all right guys I'll see you in the next video